Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the Olight Warrior X and their amazing tactical flashlight flash sale coming up. everybody welcome back I want to show you this light today I'm gonna to tell you about the flash sale first but I gotta say this is probably one of the most innovative lights I've seen in a really long time first of all the weapon light has a magnetic tail cap and charge base so there's no need to remove the battery or look for a USB port anywhere you just click the magnet on there and you're ready to go second of all it's got a vibrating battery level indicator so when your battery is running low this will vibrate to tell you when it's ready to be charged and it will vibrate at different rates too i want to go into the sale first now the first thing is if you're going to order just this light and i'll show you what it comes with it comes with of course the magnetic tail cap charger and another ring here to replace this one in case you don't want to use that and you just want that for support between your fingers so you get that and that all together you're getting the light for 30 percent off for a limited time this sale is only good tomorrow, March 22nd. So remember that. If you're watching this video at a later date, sorry, sale's over. If you're watching it for a review later, sale has passed. But I'm putting it out the day before so you guys know tomorrow, March 22nd, this is for sale. So you get this light for 30% off. Now, normally it's $129.99. But on to March 22nd, it'll be $90.99. So that's 30% off. Now, if you want to get the bundle, the bundle comes with, of course, a weapon mount. I'll give you a quick look at that. So you can mount this onto a firearm. It also comes with the remote tail cap switch. Now, the nice part about it is it's not just the switch. It actually has a Picatinny rail cover, so you can slide this right on your rail and be good to go. And this is your remote, which will snap on there and activate the light so that's pretty cool that's another part of the sale and this whole bundle with these two items is 40 percent off normally that'd be 172.97 but at 40 percent off that's 103 dollars and 78 cents so that is the flash sale i wanted to get it out of the way at the beginning so for those of you watching the video at a later date you can just fast forward through this and be done with it it will take place tomorrow march 22nd 2019 also, if you spend over $169, you'll get a free brand new M1T Plus, okay? So you can pick that up, you can pick up some extra lights or some extra gear, extra batteries, whatever, to bring you up to $169, you can get the free flashlight with that too. So that is really an amazing deal and I love it when Olight does this stuff because it really, really gives you a lot of uh, good options and the price is amazing for the flashlight. So let's get into the flashlight a little bit. And uh, I'll tell you all about it. All right, so as I said before, the flashlight is a 2,000 lumen flashlight. For the size of that, that's pretty darn good. It has a 560 meter or 1,837 feet beam distance. It also passes a two meter drop test. So you can drop it and not worry about it falling apart. Um, as I mentioned before, it's got a vibration low power indicator. So you're carrying this light and it's low. You'll start to vibrate and tell you what level of charge it's at, or discharge, I should say, and when it needs to be charged. The levels are as follows. For a 30% battery, it'll vibrate once every five minutes. And it is kind of neat when I got the battery. It was kind of low. It was like a little zzz, zzz. It's kind of neat. Uh, I didn't know what it was at first. I thought I short-circuited something until I read the information on it. At 10%, it'll vibrate once every minute. And at 5% of battery life, it'll vibrate once every second. Now, the charger, fairly simple, like always, snaps on the back. You'll have an indicator light here that will be red or green, depending on your battery's level. It's green, it's done, it's red, it's still charging. It also, as I showed you, has a pressure switch in the bundle, which can be attached the same way. The nice part about it 
is you've got this not only as a charging port, but also as your activation button. I know some folks like myself, I've used flashlights with activation buttons on the back for so long that when the new lights come out and they have a switch up here, it's like, whoa, wait, hold on. What, you know, I'll take it out of my pocket and immediately go like this and go, oh, no, got to go up here. So for those of you that want the activation on the tail cap and the charging on the tail cap, this is a major innovation for them. It's the first time I've ever seen it done. So that's kind of a neat feature. It also has a tough silicone ring here. So if you don't want to use the pocket clip, this can be taken off. And we're going to mess around with this. So I'm going to do this now. I'll show you real quick. This end cap comes off. You can take off this clip at the back here. I'm going to take out the battery to show you. It comes with one of the uh, nice high discharge Olight batteries. You'll be taking off your pocket clip. And you can put this on. So, if you want a little bit of resistance when using it this way, you can do that with this. And you'll get a nice bit of little resistance there. It won't, uh, won't slip out of your fingers. So, that's it with the silicone ring on. Now, let's get into the other accessory it comes with. And it's not really an accessory, it's just part of the package. And that is the holster. The holster is a really nice holster. It comes with the light. I did forget to mention that in the beginning, but this does come with it. And it can fit in here in two different ways. You can put it down like this. So you still have the option to activate the light via the back if you want. I wouldn't do that for too long because the light gets warm. Or you can do it this way and have it hanging out like that. This is a very nice holster. It's got a nice little side uh, pocket here, so if you want to stick an extra battery in there, a ferro rod, whatever you can. So, definitely a well-made holster. It is molly attachable to your gear. You can put that on a pack or belt. Um, one of the things I do wish Olight would do is uh, offer these in different colors, but right now, <laughs> they're pumping out lights like crazy, so I really can't complain. Pretty pleased with it. Let's get this out of the way. One of the things I like about this is the design is very clean and modern. Um, the machining is well done. It doesn't feel like it's going to slip out of your hands at any time. You know, it's nice. you got a nice big heat sink up here. And this does get warm when it runs at high power. So you definitely want to uh, keep your hands off there. And you've got lots of area to grab here. So it's definitely a well-made light. You can see the, the nice machining. Everything is very neat and clean on it. Uh, it does come with a crenulated bezel. That's those little sharp edges. So I guess I suppose it could be used as an impact weapon if you have to keep somebody off you. Uh, it does come with a very deep reflector. So you get that nice big wide beam. It is IPX8 rated for 2 meters of water resistance. Weighs about 217 grams with the battery. I really like the design of it. It's really simple, effective user interface. And it's good neutral white beam. Has an amazing throw and a nice fill. It's still usable. So let's get into the modes. And I'll tell you how to switch this from standard to tactical mode. And that's fairly simple. So let's get ready for that and I'll show you how it works. All right, I tilted up the camera a little bit so you can actually see the light when it's activated. There are two modes for this. Standard mode, half press will stay on at 300 lumens if you do a half press and hold it. And, and then it'll turn off. If you want the 2000 lumens, you press deep and you'll get the 2000 lumens. Press deep again and it will turn off. Now momentary 2000 is just press deep. And hold it and then let go and it will turn off and if you want the momentary 300 same thing if you want to keep it on just push all the way on and off it also has a tactical mode now how to change the modes is pretty simple you're going to push down on this and twist it and then close it back up again and as you can tell got the flash and the full 2000 mode so you've got the strobe and that and you can do that, whatever mode you prefer. Um, basically, it's just to, to switch it back to standard mode, you're going to push down again, twist off, twist back on again, and it's back in standard mode. And you have your two settings. Now, as far as the runtime goes, the 2,000 lumens, which will step down in 1 minute and 50 seconds to 600 lumens, will run for 1 hour and 20 minutes. The runtime on the 300 lumens, which doesn't step down, will run for 4 hours and 40 minutes. So there's really not a lot of messing around with this. It's a very simple flashlight. There's not a billion complicated modes and push 10 times and stand on your head. You know, it's a very simple, easy to use flashlight. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the, um, the pressure switch 
and the mount. I'm going to show it to you mounted on the rifle's um, rail system so you can see how it works. Basically, to put on the mount, you're going to take this off and this off. You're going to slide this on. Get it to where you like it. And this will unscrew, basically. You pull it apart and unscrew it. So, there we go. Pull out and unscrew. So it'll make this looser, and it'll make this looser so it'll fit right on your rail system. You're going to replace your cap. And it's ready to be mounted. So let's bring up the rifle and uh, show you what it looks like. All right, so we got it mounted on the front of the rifle. Now, this is not how I would mount this on this particular gun. The only reason I have this on here is because I already have another light on here. And I'm not going to be taking that off for the moment just to mount this because this is going on a different rifle. But this was out of the safe and easy to grab. So you put your light on here. You'll just turn this down. This will clamp down further and further. It also grips the light. So the light and the rail are not going anywhere. That's on there really, really good. This, of course, just snaps on there. And then you'll take this and put it wherever you want. Now, in my case, I'd probably put it up here on the front. So I'd be able to activate the light from right up here easily. Real simple to do. So that's the mounting system. And I, you know, I know some people will be a little concerned about this coming off. But the nice part about this is, is when you want to recharge this, it's not some kind of big complicated process to unscrew, get the battery out, make sure you don't hit anything. You'll just plug this, take this plug off, take your charger plug, put your charger plug on, and plug it into whatever source you have. It does come with a USB end. You can plug it into, say, one of these little adapters. Real simple to do, not a big deal. So, that is the weapon light, and that's well worth the bundle price, I think. Um, having that there just makes it um, so much more effective and so much uh, more of a full package, I would say. So, we're going to test it outside. I want to show you what it looks like inside, so we're going to do it in the garage first. And then I'll take you outside, and we'll show you what it looks like outside. All right, we're in our usual testing spot. I will be testing this outside after this, so stay tuned. But I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. Uh, we're going to start off with the 300 lumen mode. As you can tell, that's pretty darn bright. Then let's take it to the 2000 lumens. Yeah, it's ridiculously bright. <laughs> and what I like is, and we'll see if you can see my fingers in here, this nice spill area out here. It's usable, you know? It's bright enough where you can actually see what's going on in all this area around. So if you have to move around, You've got a very wide lit area. And as you know, my camera doesn't do very well with dark. This is probably the best I've ever seen it do in the dark. So you can tell it's a very big beam, a very centered beam, and a nice usable spill area. All right, let's test it outside. All right, so I picked a good dark night here. <laughs> this is my driveway. Um, you can't see it, of course. You might be able to make out the little uh, solar lights on the side over there. I'm going to turn this on once those cars in the distance pass because I don't want to think that I want them to think I'm signaling them down or something. We're going to put this on the low, the low lumens first. It's got a nice big spot on it. Kind of see the tree over there on my property, bottom of the palm tree. Okay, I don't know if you can see off in the distance, there's a water tanker truck over there and a vehicle. They're building a house over a little bit over. So we're going to put this on high now. There's the 3,000 lumens. Now you can definitely see the water tanker and the truck. You can definitely see my, my uh, palm tree over there. Definitely see the driveway. That's incredibly bright. There are my little solar lights. So anyway, that is a quick little test of it outside in complete darkness. You can see just how bright this light really is. I have the throw of it's pretty good too. And remember, my camera doesn't really do a lot of justice to, uh, to dark video. And I've even tried some different settings on it. And I can feel that the light's actually getting a little warm on the heat sinks. But I'll tell you something. This is a bright light. So if you need a bright light, it definitely works in the darkness. And the camera isn't doing justice to it. So let's take it back on the table and finish up. All right. So that is the Olight Warrior X. Um, I am doing this video for the flash sale. So if you're watching this at a later date, there is no sale on it. But if you're watching this, say, on the 21st of March in 2019... 
Tomorrow is the sale. And that's 30% off on just the light package here. And 40% off with the light package and the uh, bundle. So it's a really great deal. It's a great time to get in on this. Um, this flashlight has got so many different innovations on it. And it's just such a nice flashlight. And for the power, it's not a huge flashlight. You know, I, I've seen some uh, 2,000 and 3,000 lumen flashlights that look like little beer cans. I mean, this thing is awesome. It just You could even pocket carry this if you didn't mind the, the larger head on it. So, all in all, I'm impressed with it. And this is going to be going on a different, uh, a different rifle that I'm going to be using it on. But I will definitely be using it as a weapon light because it is set up for that and ready to go. And I, out here, um, you know, some people argue that maybe you should have a little bit of a lower light on your weapons. Um, out here, where it's darkness, it's really kind of dependent on where you're going to be. If you're going to be inside buildings, or if you're a police officer, you're going to be clearing buildings or something, maybe 2,000 lumens is too bright. If you're going to be out here, where there's no street lights, and at night it is pitch black for miles, something like this comes in handy. Definitely helps with target identification. And if you just want a really bright, bright flashlight for your vehicle, I did think about using this in the vehicle, but I already have uh, another O-light in there. I have my little mini baton in there. So um, that will do for the, for the vehicle light. So all in all, I am extremely impressed. So that is it for today. I will put a link down below to Olight's page where you can pick this up on the 22nd and uh, check out their other stuff too. Because like I said, if you spend more than the $169, you will get a free M1T Plus. And uh, heck, that's a free like $50, $60 value right there. So all in all, you're getting an amazing deal. So once again, at the sale, $90 for just the flashlight and this stuff here. And for the whole bundle with the pressure switch on the mount, that's $103.78. Can't beat it. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the link for this stuff down below. Underneath that, don't forget to check out our Amazon store. Click the link. Shop as you normally would if you don't see anything in the store you like. Really helps out the channel. Costs you absolutely nothing extra. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down below if you're interested in getting set up with some freeze-dried foods to get started with in your prepping journey. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.